Well, welcome Amen. everybody to our webinar tonight. Thank you all for taking this time out of your day. My name is Charlene Edmondson, and um, my husband Denny and I are uh, the leaders for Salt and Light in the state of Nebraska. And um, our goal today is to have you look back on this hour that we're spending together and be so enlightened and motivated that you'll start your own list of people you have in your own faith communities and beyond that, that need to join us in our mission, bringing salt and light to our Nebraska public square. And I'd like to open with a prayer tonight, God's promise to us to restore our nation. It's found in 2 Chronicles 7, 14 through 15. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. God's holy promise to us, and that's why we're all here together. Joining us today are um, our founders from Salt and Light, which is Duran Reese and our um, Mark Bonkowitz of Nebraskans for Founders Values. Drian is uh, the uh, creator and founder for Salt and Light. For Salt and Light, and I truly believe that God has inspired both of these uh, ministry organizations to work together in bringing back the Word of God into Nebraska's public square and beyond that into our United States. 2020 is going to bring us to the most dangerous crossroads of voting choices that any of us, I think, in our lifetimes have ever, have ever seen. So just moving forward, just to identify some of, some of the challenges that we have, abortion of fully developed babies, removing God from the public square, the hijacking of our children's innocence and mental clarity of their sexual identity, parental authority erosion happening every day, Sanctity of traditional marriage and family being trashed. Our First Amendments, our freedom of religious choice constantly under attack. Choking Americanism into socialism. And twisting our children's education. Uh, they're interweaving LGBTQ and now, now we're on to IAP with P being pan or pedophile. Um, uh, into evolution, gloaming, gloaming, ugh, global warming, and in, there, this stuff is entering into every book curriculum they have. So we're here because we will not be discouraged and diverted. Our Father has given us the tools with salt and light, and you're going to learn about them tonight. No longer are we going to allow God's word and light to be snuffed out of our churches and our communities because our faith values have been labeled as a political topic. It's not a political issue. It's a faith issue. We're going to armor up, educate ourselves on the political party platforms and vote for the people that align with our faith values. We're going to set up voter registration tables in our churches and our faith organizations it's not enough for us to have good intentions anymore. We've been kicking this can down the road too far. We're going to turn our intentions into actions. We, are, we will turn our intentions into actions. So you're about to experience a walk through the Salt and Light website. And this, this website, in my opinion, of 69 years of working in sales in the public square is the most comprehensive set of tools I've ever had the privilege of working with. It's truly everything our faith communities will need to engage in the battlefield that we're facing entering into 2020. Never in our lifetime has there been more at stake for our families in our United States. We need every warrior we can muster, and those are going to come from our churches. Presenting tonight, we have Gail Levin. Gail is a Messianic Jewish woman, retired from her ministry, Generational Crossroads. She spent her uh, ministry years leading Christians to relational and generational restoration through the power of Jesus Christ 
for 15 years, she worked that ministry. So in 2013, she joined us as she retired then. And as um, in 2013, Gail joined uh, Salt and Light as a full-time staff member. And Gail and her husband, Alan, of 47 years, and their anniversary was Tuesday, um, have two grown children and three grandchildren. And I just want to tell you guys, Gail is my trusted sister in Christ. I'm choking up here because I love her so much. Here she is to start us off on our journey to retake our public square in the name of Jesus. Welcome, Gail. Well, thank you so much, Char, and it's, I love you too. So it's, it's, it's a match made in heaven, and we're all here because the Lord has ordained us to be here. Um, I did go ahead and mute the phones for now, but we will have Q&A. Uh, there was a lot of background noise, and I just thought I'd make it easy. So let me just run through these slides, and we will take a look at the website. Uh, first, we're going to start with some slides just to give you background. And you're going to see a lot of information. And I'd like you to know that uh, we put a lot out there, and then it's up to you to decide what to use. So let's just get started right now. Basically, we start what are called Salt and Light Biblical Citizenship Ministries around the country. They're civic serve ministries for churches or organizations. And over here on the right, you see our binder. This is our training binder. And we're kind of a clearinghouse so that we are, it's not about salt and light. We are wanting to serve the Lord and let his body know what is available to serve. And so we do include materials from other organizations, other ministries, etc., others who have the biblical worldview. And that's what we're promoting. We're promoting the biblical worldview. And so look at the need here. Those skeptical of the Bible doubled in just three years, and that was back in 2014. Less than 10% of Americans even have a basic biblical worldview anymore. And this is a really frightening um, statistic right here. By the age of 17, our young people have spent about 40,000 hours with some kind of media and 11,000 hours in school. Compare that with only 2,000 hours with their parents and 800 hours in church. So you can see that we're basically laying down like the ground to be walked over. And Jesus said, if we lose our saltiness, it makes us good for nothing but to be trampled on by men. And so we're here because we want to change that dynamic. And the Salt and Light Council has developed two winning strategies. The first one is the short-term strategy. Of course, let's get out the vote. But there's a long-term strategy so that we're loving the church all year long in between elections, we train affiliate leaders for churches to lead civic serve ministries, as I said, and they educate on biblical worldview issues. They practice what we call evangeletics. They help the congregation to know how to not only evangelize, which you know, we want to do that, but also to do it through apologetics, by knowing who we are, why we are who we are, what the Bible says, and how to apply that to daily lives. We help identify candidates and much more. And so if you look at this pie chart on the right-hand side, we consider biblical citizenship to be just like every other ministry in the church, whether it's the men's ministry, the women's ministry, the youth ministry, education ministry, etc. So we're training somebody to lead a ministry. And we consider civic government to be a mission field. So we're helping people to approach uh, government, education, media, the culture, and to get the salt and light back into the culture. So how do we do it? Well, there's two simple steps. We ask the leader or the pastor to appoint a dynamic leader that we can train and then send that person to our training. Our training's online, and it's a three-hour training, and it's, it can be done just from the comfort of somebody's home or from a church. And what we do is we train according to this acronym right here on the right-hand side called PETER, P-E-T-E-R. Five letters describes the entire ministry of the Salt and Light Council. The P stands for prayer and action. The E stands for education. T stands for taking action. The second E is elections. And it's R, th R through restoration, uh, restoration through repentance, excuse me. And actually the R is in some ways the most important because that's what we want. We want to see people come to the Lord. We want to see souls saved. 
lives transformed and healed through the power of Jesus Christ. And so in addition to the pastor or leader appointing that dynamic leader and sending to training, there's only one other thing we ask, and that is that the pastor holds what we call a salt and light Sunday so that every month, one Sunday of the month, for two minutes from the pulpit, we supply pulpit announcements. It's all done for the leader. We, 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 we make it available to the leader, and then for two minutes from the pulpit, once a month, they deliver those pulpit announcements, and then after service, there's 15 minutes of action. So we call it one time a month, two, to- two pulpit announcements, 15 minutes of action. It's easy, one, two, 15. And right here under the T, this is what it kind of looks like. At the Salt and Light table, people can take action. They can sign up for email lists. They can write postcards. They can uh, sign up for a rally maybe, if you're having a rally, um, a, a prayer and action meeting, et cetera. And so it's one time a month, two minutes from the pulpit for 15 minutes of action. Looking at that acronym PETER, P-E-T-E-R, the P stands for prayer. And we say that we are a prayer ministry first. And so we, if you look at this picture right here, you see these little green slips of paper. What those are, those are prayers from the presidential action team and prayers that we write. Each month, your leader gets five pages of prayers. And then when they hold a meeting, when people come in, as they, as they drift in, they're each given one of those slips. And each slip has a prayer. And we pray over the federal government. So it could be for the courts. It could be for the administration, Congress, uh, health and education, the economy, et cetera. And so as people come in and they sit down and they start to pray, they're praying into the issues that are significant that month, so they're being educated even as they read. And then they're learning to pray in a corporate setting those things that affect our country. And so that's the prayer portion. Following prayer time is when you can show DVDs, you can have book reports, uh, you can have a guest speaker, um, maybe somebody from the pregnancy care center can come and share, or somebody from a school board. You can sign postcards, plan rallies, etc. So we call it a prayer and action meeting. We're wanting to put our prayers into action. On the right side of your screen, it says Repentance and Restoration. That's a website, rnrprayer.org, for a conference call. The conference call is six days a week, not on Sunday, but Monday through Saturday. Your time zone would be 1030 to 11 a.m., half an hour of prayer. And if you go into the website, you can see this calendar. And on the calendar, every day of the month is listed, and every day has different um, topics, such as you can pray for liberty, uh, education, life, etc., in addition to that, there's a couple of states, one or two states each day. So every state is prayed over by the end of the month. And as well, we pray over the federal government, the courts, the, the, well, the administration, of course, the cabinet, the courts. Um, we even list some of the uh, rulings that need to be overturned, such as Roe v. Wade. And then we pray for the states. And we pray for um, each state by name. And each state has a preamble that mentions God, so we pray that, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And every day we also include a prayer for Israel, which we think is very important. So that's our R&R prayer, um, sorry, conference call. And we invite you to even get on the phone tomorrow and be part of that. You don't have to be part of the Salt Lake Council to pray. Anybody can be on that call. And here's the website, rnrprayer.org, and here are the calling codes. They're on the website as well. And we hope you join us and tell others. The E in Peter, the first E, it stands for education. So we want to educate on a biblical worldview. And we have what we call a monthly maintenance. And Shar is very familiar with this. Every month we have a newsletter. It's two-sided, and uh, it has articles. And every article has a prayer, scripture, and an action. And every article details something that people can take action on that month in our country. And so we even write out on the action, we even write out the, the text that people can say, such as thank you for investigating, aiming, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all there for people to see. And on the second side, we even have every month, we, we highlight an organization or a ministry that is doing something to lead people to Christ, uh, to, to stand in the gap for people who need Jesus, et cetera. So 
we're not just about legislation. We are really about salvation is our primary goal, just, just as it is for all of us on the line. In addition to the newsletter, here are those pulpit announcements. So we drill down the articles, uh, the first two, and we give you text that can be said from the pulpit. This is our Next Generation newsletter. It's one-sided. It has clip art. It's color-coded. And it has articles that are age-appropriate. And when these kids write in to their legislators or you know, corporations or wherever the letters are going, the postcards are going, they get to say, thank you, Senator Grassley, I am, and they put their age in. I'm 13 years old, 14 years old, and so people know that the postcards are coming from youth, which is our next generation coming up. Here are those focus prayers I told you about with the cut lines that are handed out for the prayer and action meeting. And when people write their postcards, by the way, when they write their postcards, all those are our four by six inch index cards. Very inexpensive. Get them at any Walmart, 100 for maybe a buck. And uh, so people come in, they write their postcard, they hand it to the Salt Light leader who stamps them and mails them so that by the time people leave the building, they've heard about some of the issues that they can take action on. They've written postcards if they want to. They can have signed up, as I said, for an email list or for a prayer and action meeting. And, uh, and they've been educated and they can take a newsletter with them there's additional articles on the newsletter. We just ask them to write postcards for sure for the first two articles. Those are our main articles. And they can take it home. They can, you know, call, make calls. They can continue with postcards, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And everything is legally vetted by Liberty Council. If you've heard of Liberty Council, they're uh, a nationwide attorney firm, a Christian firm, and they take on issues pro bono to protect religious rights. The founder and president of Liberty Council is Matt Staver. Matt Staver is the president of the board of the Salt and Light Council. Our president, as Char mentioned, is Dran Reese, and she sits on Liberty Council's board as well. So there's a nice synergy partnership going there. And the newsletter is legally vetted by Liberty Council as well. Another portion of the E for education is, as I said, evangelics. Evangelics, again, is evangelism plus apologetics. And so in our training manual, we have pages and pages and pages of different resources that can be purchased by the church. And uh, topics range you know, from economic stewardship to defending the faith, radical Islam, authority of the Bible, constitutional and historical foundations, etc. Another portion of the education is what we call our prayer and action continuing education. Your affiliate leader wants to stay up on the newest things that are happening nationwide. What are the new um, ways that we can impact the culture for Christ? What are the new issues that need to be addressed? And so every month, the third Monday of the month, we have what we call a PACE meeting, P-A-C-E. And as you see here in this slide, these are muscles. We're providing muscle to the church, but we're not a parachurch ministry. We're not doing the work for the, minute, for the church. We are coming alongside, providing, arming, equipping, so that the church can do its work. That's a two-hour meeting every third Monday of the month, and the last 45 minutes, we allow you to invite others to join us for, for a lecture, a free online lecture. It's free. Uh, we have national experts coming on. As I said, it's open to your guests. We give you an email that you can send out. And you can see some of these excellent speakers that we've had. Of course, everybody knows Dr. Ben Carson, and he spoke on the price of freedom. Dr. Michael Brown, he spoke on pastoral leadership. This is Trevor Loudon, and he was talking about uh, the communism within our own government. And Dr. Judith Reisman, she unmasked Alfred Kinsey, if you know who he is. And so she talked to us about what's happening in the area of pornography and the problems we're having nationwide through that, and many, many other speakers as well, excellent speakers. We do record those, by the way. There's a live 45-minute lecture, and we record them, and our affiliate leaders can go in and share those recordings anytime they like. Moving to the T in Peter, take action. We educate, mobilize, and activate. And so you can see there's different ways to take action. 
this affiliate leader right here, Heidi, she got her team together and they had a rally at the Indiana State House. Here you have people at the Salt Lake Table uh, filling out maybe an email list or, or maybe writing their postcards. We do have sometimes national book, I'm sorry, national projects, and this was a book distribution. This is Dran right here, Dran Reese, our president, really tiny probably on your screen, but that's Dran. And look at the team she pulled together. And they went to the Sacramento uh, legislature and handed out the book Well Versed by Dr. Jim Garlow, which is like a one-on-one -on -one primer on a, uh, about 30 or more issues that are important and how do they align biblically. To every legislator, they handed them to every legislator in the state house. We did this nationwide. We we got teams together in I think all but two states. We couldn't get teams, but we we got teams together who went to their state houses, and every legislator received a copy of Well Versed as well as a personal visit. We can also take the Salt and Light Council out, and I'll show you the excellent way that we are able to uh, make it uh, portable. And so uh, here we were protecting a war memorial. You can go to conferences, conventions, etc. It is true. It is true. And I'm, I'm sure you've seen this. When Christians show up, we win. And we want to display our faith in the public sector. The second E is for elections. And I do believe Shar handed, well, not handed, but she attached this comparison party, uh, I'm sorry, what is that? A party platform comparison sheet in every one of your emails. What I do in our congregation is when we're having a registration drive, and by the way, it is legal to have a registration drive in your church, what we do is we put one of these in every bulletin announcement. And during the service, during announcements, what I will say is we're going to have a registration drive. All I ask is that you read this first. Read this first and compare the different parties. And then look at the different issues like life and abortion, marriage, uh, support for Israel, etc. And look at how each party aligns with those values along with the pages where you can find their, this exact wording on their platforms and pray about it. And however the Lord has you register, I will reg you know, be free. You know, go ahead and register. But I just wanted, I'm just asking you to please read this and pray about it first who has the biblical values that God wants you to uh, align with. And I will say this. We don't say we're Republican or Democrat as much as we say we're Christocrats. Christocrats. Okay? We represent, we're ambassadors on earth. We are representing the king of glory. And we align with those who will promote the values of that kingdom. And so... It's worked really successfully in our congregation, and I invite you to use that as well. By the way, uh, you, again, you don't have to join us to be able to use that because biblicalvoter.com, it's an initiative that we set up. We have different initiatives. It does not have our name on it. It's not password protected, and you can go there anytime and download any of those resources, and we have a lot of resources from voter guides to you can even go online and see if you're registered to vote. Um, and, you know, we even have a kit that you can purchase uh, to set up a registration drive in your church, et cetera. So I invite you to go there. The R is for, as I said, restoration. And, again, this is what everything points to. It points to people finding Jesus Christ, our nation getting back in order, our children being protected, uh, our country being saved. And so the higher aim is restoration. And two Corinthians, if I could just say 2 Corinthians 5.17, therefore if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So in that realm, we're, as I said, not just about legislation. We're really about also about salvation. And so we network. We network with pro-life and pro-family groups, with ministries dealing with sexual brokenness, anti-sex trafficking organizations, and more. In 2014, we even put together a webinar, Biblical Sexual Ethics Workshop, with experts in different areas, people who've left homosexuality, people who are ministering to people who want to leave, um, pastors and, and how they minister to this, uh, legally, you know, how people um, take care, of, you know, what's the legal aspects of this and more. And so uh, that's online too, and our members can access that at any time. And when I say members, these are the affiliate leaders that you would send to our training for that three-hour training. They're certified. Here's the certificate right here by us so that you know they've been properly trained. They receive the 
um, binder right here, the salt light training binder, and a lot of other information as well. And so it's $125 for those three hours. Most of that is really because of the binder. The binder is full color, it's high quality paper, and it's taken a lot of time and expertise to put it together. And then, as I mentioned, people can go to your salt and light table. Well, here it is right here. This is the ready to go tabletop kit. It's $365, it includes shipping, and again, as it says here, everything you need to start. It comes in this rolling container that is durable and lightweight, and nobody has ever broken this container, no matter how much they've used it, except for one person, <laughs> our dear Shar. Shar takes this with her everywhere she goes, and so the handle finally broke. And we trust this kit so much that we sent her a brand new case, absolutely free, no cost to her, because it's really, it's really a, great, it's a great case. And here you have the table, okay? And everything you see here is included except the table underneath the tablecloth. So there's the banner, the plexiglass holders, the clipboards, the signage, some office supplies, and more. And so it's such a good-looking, attractive uh, table that when we go to conferences, people want to set up near us because we draw people to us because it's so colorful. Finally, at the conclusion of the training, your affiliate leader gets affiliate membership, and that is $20 a month. It's $20 a month because it is a living um, thing. You know, the, we're always uploading to the members page, and included is back office support. So we're not just training your affiliate leader and saying, see ya. No, we're going to be there with your affiliate leader as much as needed. And so... Um, that's all included in just 20 and I'll say just $20 a month. I think that's a very reasonable cost. We've really tried to make it fair to everybody across the board. This is what the affiliate page looks like. Here you have your monthly maintenance that I talked about with the newsletter. Here's the lecture series recording that I mentioned. Uh, the PACE meeting, the two full hours of, of the prayer and action continuing education for your affiliate leaders. The training binder is even uploaded and more. And so to conclude, we have uh, the Salt and Light Council also is starting initiatives to help different aspects of our culture through the Christian message, through the biblical worldview. And so I did explain to you the R&R website for prayer that you can be on tomorrow if you like. You saw Biblical Voter. And then we also have three that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, one is Public School Exit. And let's see if I can open that up for you. This is brand new. We just broke this out last week. And so we want to give families an option, parents an option, to know what their school choices truly are outside of government-controlled education. And so you can go to publicschool.com, and you can see the whole website, and parents do have a choice, and we have, we're just starting, we're just populating it now. But as it says here, it's time for the fraudulent education system to be exposed, replaced with real education, before even more children are irreparably harmed and the nation itself is destroyed. We're partnering with people who have been doing uh, this kind of research for decades and the, the best in the country. And so we want to give parents a choice. Another option is our Judeo-Christian Caucus. We're starting this now in California. And what we're doing here is we want to help people know what their legislators are doing. And so we want to get behind them. For instance, here in California, there's a bill, SB 673, um, that uh, will have parents opt in to sexual education, not even just to opt out. And isn't that something that would be very powerful? So we're providing information for Senator Morell, Morell's uh, um, bill right here. And then we want to include other senators and, and, and legislators here in California who have our values. And so we have already four. We have Mike Morell, as I mentioned, and three others. And then I just sent out a, an invitation to the others. We identified who has our values. We sent them an invitation to join us. And here in California, we want to build a coalition between the churches and the legislators so we work together. Now, you have a unicameral there in Nebraska, which is very powerful. And so we want to help you as well to start to 
uh, build those relationships in any way that we can. The other initiative that I want to show you is our content of character series. And Shar actually has held one of these in, in Omaha. Uh, let's see if we can go there. So here it was over, oops, where'd it go? Okay, yeah, here we go. Here it was over here, Omaha, Nebraska. So many of you might be familiar with Ralston Arena. Uh, I know Mike's in New York, you don't know this, but we need to have one of these in New York, Mike. These are summits that uh, bring together, here's a vision and mission. They bring together um, the black churches around issues that affect their culture, but everybody is invited because their issues are our issues. We all share the same issues. So it's to affirm the value and dignity of black Americans. And what we do is we go, as I said, to a, uh, a, into a summit, and we then invite, let's, let's go back, I'm sorry, let's go back to, where did you go? Nebraska. Nebraska's gone. Okay, so let's go back to San Diego, where I am. Okay, so we held this. This was our second summit in June. And so we invite uh, local pastors. We make them host pastors to find a location and help to populate the summit. And then we invite in guest speakers from uh, across the country. So uh, we had Raleigh Washington talking about Israel and the black church. You may remember him from Promise Keepers. Uh, we had Dr. Charles Ware. He talked about one race, one blood. He's with the uh, with Ken Ham's uh, organization, uh, speaking. What, what is it? Genesis. Oh, I can't think of it right now. But he he talked about that we're all one race, one blood. We're all descended from Adam and Eve, and so we're all really the same. Uh, we even had um, uh, Mark Little talking about parties, platforms, values. Um, we had uh, Lori Hoy talking about black genocide. As you may know, more babies in the black community are being aborted in some areas than are being born. And that, of course, is a systemic problem across America, et cetera. And so that is our content of character series. We have two already planned for 2020, one in Arizona and one in um, uh, Texas. And so we'd love to have one uh, in your city if, it's, you know, if it's different than Omaha, or if it is Omaha, let's do it again. And that's it. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the plan. I'm going to go back to our uh, web controls, and I'm going to unmute everybody. Hang on just one second. Okay, there we go. We're back. <laughs> and I think I'll put us back into, I'm going to put us into Q&A. So you can unmute yourselves by pressing star six. Um, and uh, Shar, I'm going to turn it right back to you. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gail. Um, Awesome presentation as always, and I just want to say to everybody that's on, it's time to get started now. And um, just a, 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 a thought uh, as we're uh, nearing the end: um, don't be tricked by Satan thinking that you're going to wait until you're comfortable or more confident or any other trick that Satan has to stall you out. Whatever he throws at you, don't wait another minute to reach out and take the next step to get your church signed up. And I want to give you the action steps on how you can do that. You can call me to set a, first of all, call me to set a time to get together or talk on the phone or just to answer any questions that you might have. And then together, we'll set a time to contact your pastor and um, set up a specific date where we can go in and meet with him and maybe even show him, uh, you know, the recording of this. Um, and when we do meet with the senator, um, or excuse me, when we do meet with your pastor, um, if you'll share that meeting time and date, I can go with you or um, possibly someone else from Nebraskans for Founders Values would attend with you, um, or even you might even want to do this presentation to your pastor and your board of elders if they have uh, questions 
that um, you feel like it would uh, help to have uh, several of us there to answer questions. So if you need help speaking to your pastors or church leaders, we're here to help you. We can talk about it ahead of time, and then we can go in there with you. And this presentation um, can be shown to it – can, it can show in your church. It can show to um, even uh, different um, groups that you have that are not necessarily church. Um, maybe, uh, maybe your JCCs or whatever. So um, I want to give you, I, I know my number's on the bottom of the flyer, but I want to give it to you again if you'll just jot it down. My phone number is 402-598-1100, and my email is my name, all together with no spaces, it's all lowercase, C-H-A-R-L-E-N-E-E-D. M U N D S O N at Cox dot net. That's C O X dot N E T. So Gail, at this time, if you would please open up for questions. Yeah, Let's before see. we do that, sure. I have just uh -huh. one thing I wanted to do. I didn't take you to our website. So the Salt and Light Council is Salt and Light Council dot org, and. Here's the members. I'll, t I'll just show you the members page right here. And here are, this is the only page on the whole website, the entire website that is password protected. And so here it is. Here's that monthly maintenance, the lecture series pace meetings, just as I showed you. And then getting back to, to the uh, page here, you have different links that you can view. Here again is the party platform. And I, I just wanted to direct you, we have blogs. Um, I just wrote a blog that a lot of people are interested in, there's great interest in it, because it deals with a question that might be one of the questions you want to ask, in fact. And that is, what about politics and being biblical? Do they go together? And so here we have Christianity, politics, and the birth of the Savior, an interesting combination. And it just starts off with politics is biblical. And so I invite you to take a look at our, our blogs and, and read about that. It gives you some really good tips on why Christians do need to be involved in the political sector, as, as we said already. And then again, we also just have so many different resources here uh, that you can visit as well. Okay. All right. Let's go to questions. Uh, I know Kathy had a question. Kathy, are you still there? I don't see you in, in the queue anymore. Um, let me see if we can find you and unmute you. This okay, here you are, Kathy. Go ahead, Kathy. Okay, that was pushing all these funny buttons to try to get in. <laughs> I'm learning as I go. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> well, I just wanted to, again, commend you on the work that's being done here. And the information about the big-name candidates is generally very, very available, but we just wanted to let people know that voterinformation.org is very specific for local races here in Nebraska. Right, so. and if you go to elections on our website and click on voting and election tools, it takes you to our, again, biblicalvoter.com. And uh, again, biblicalvoter.com, we don't have our name on it. It's for everybody to use. And so then you go to State Voter Guides and Nebraska here. Should be there. And there you are. So okay. that's our site. And right now there's even stuff out there left from 2018 to see uh -huh. how it was done before. <clears throat> so here we are in your site. Show us something. Um. Ooh, can I make that happen? Uh, we, we can do several ways. You can put in your, your personal name and birthday, and it will take you to the specific races that would be on your personal ballot. Well, this is cool. Here it says registered in Nebraska voter, et cetera. And uh -huh. you can, you, it so says where, one, you can, can, here you can look up your races. Okay. Yep. 
and that that you, that means just the ones that will be on your personal ballot. And then I'd ask you to try one, but I don't want to make you give your birth up. Your birth oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the second one is do it by search. You can type in a name or a, a race, and then do you have a name? Three. Can we put something? Okay, go ahead. Circle three is browse by county. Circle three, you can do by county. Uh Uh-huh. So even though most of our work is done here on the east side of the state, there are Mm -hmm. some things that are available across the state. So every county is listed. Okay, well, go ahead. Sorry. So I'm just, I mean, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a resource as they were in the process of getting ready for 2020 at this point. So what's Absolutely, there? that's right. But you can so what, what is your role that. in that, Kathy? What is your role in that? Um, main slave driver? No, um, no, I have a nice <laughs> name. <laughs> no, officially I'm the executive director. Well, we're, ha- we're pleased to have you on the line with us, and thank you for the work you're doing the excellent work that you are doing, and I know that Shark greatly appreciates you, as do the others on the line. I do. So thank you so much. Well, and and we are, and I did invite a bunch of people to come to be on the show, on the show, on the event today, um, and I'm looking forward to having the recording available to send to those people who weren't able to get on. If so, you want me to do it yeah. again, any time, just let me know. Okay, we can set that up just like we did okay. today. All right. Thank and you. And I wanted to go. You're, oh, you're very welcome. I wanted to go back to the state voter guides, and um, we have Michael on the phone from New York, ah, yes. and we don't have anything from New York. So, Michael, we need for you, and I see you have a question. So, Tom, if you'll just hang in there, I'm going to go to Michael since I'm mentioning him now. And, uh, Michael, what can we do in New York? Do you have any ideas? Um, well, I'm... Well, the first thing I wanted to say, I was, my question was, I am highly interested in this, and Jeremy can tell you I'm most likely a prime co- candidate for your organization. Um, I've been involved in politics and church, even though I've had pastors tell me not to be. Um, mm-hmm. I know it is. You know, it's right. But anyways, the problem I have is, one, I left my old church that I was highly involved in where I would be able to jump into this right away. I just started going to a new church, and I left because of different kind of political reasons or not political reasons, however you want to word it. Um, They were doing stuff that was not right. Um, But anyways, um, I'm getting ready to start the member. Basically, I got a while before I can get involved in my church. I haven't done the membership class or anything yet. I'm getting ready to start that next month. So it's going to be a while before I'll even be able to jump into this, but I want to. So what can I do in the meantime? Okay. Well, I appreciate that. And what you can do in the meantime, because, you know, uh, we're, we're starting the new year and we want to get you involved uh, so you can have an impact. Uh, do you belong to any men's groups or Bible studies where you could uh, have people find out what we're doing? Um, yes, but it's very small because we kind of brung the men's group from the church I left with us. We're meeting at a veteran center now, outreach center. Um, so we have a very small group where we're rebuilding everything. We, I don't want to go into details cause I don't believe in talking bad about a church, but um, are you talking about three or four people or more? Or what? Uh, it's like four In or your five group. Right okay. Well, um, 20 to about five right now. So, yeah. Well, God changed the world with 12, so yeah. you're on your way. And we can train you. Shar, um, can, Shar why don't you speak to that? What do you, uh, what do you suggest? Yes, we are, um, Mike, we're, Michael, we are going to put your name into our uh, website, and you're going to be receiving emails reminding you about being able to join our monthly PACE meeting. To stay educated, um, you saw that there is a national um, letter that uh, that goes out. You're going to get a copy of that. And um, my ultimate goal is to have a uh, uh, Nebraska state letter, and hopefully when you get yours rolling, you'll be able to have a New York state letter, and that's going to have what's going on in New York what senators are working on what bills, and um, you'll be able to form yourself an army 
that's going to be ready to pull a trigger with just tapping on your email and sending out your warriors to come and testify, to write letters, um, to email, uh, to knock on doors, supporting candidates. We're going to help you put some feet on the ground in New York. And, Dale, I love what you just said about the 12 apostles. Change the world. Yes, that's right. And I'm going to go you one better, Shar. We can train you. And then you will have access to the members page on your own. Okay, it's twenty dollars a month. Absolutely, and it's well worth you know the twenty dollars. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, and um, then you'll be up and running. And okay. Char yeah, can willing, be your I'm person. I'm the whole cost myself if I have to. I'm not. That's not. Okay. Me. Yeah. And Char can be your personal mentor, okay, and help you. You know, and Mark. You uh, with you have my Grand number. Your founders' values. This, this and let's like, see what we can oh. get going. This is my calling big time. It has been for years. I just didn't have an avenue to do it, not, not at organized. Well, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're going to get you started. We'll get you started. Sure. So, so make sure I, – I, yeah, uh, I'll say this. Uh, Char has your information on how we can reach you. And um, yes. she'll give you – you have my – I don't know if he has my information. Uh, let's, let's get together on the phone. And okay. you just saw the PowerPoint presentation, so you got that. And I'll sign you up, you, and I'll train you. Can I give you my phone number right now so you have it? So, so yep. you know, yes. Yeah. It's Hang three, on one, one second. Okay. Okay, go ahead. 315-408-3700. Three, one. Three, one, okay. Got it. Okay, it's Mar- Michael T- Tabor? Tabor, yes. And I see Tell your it, uh, email here. Yeah, I'm old school. I got a dinosaur email. I know. <laughs> Michael, spell your last name. T-A-B as in boy, E-R. Very good. Hey, Gail, and, um, yes. while, we're talk- while we're talking about voters, talk to us about that amazing, cool uh, voter uh, registration kit you have. Okay, I'll show you that. Michael, I have for your email, I'll just say the first part, T-A-B-E-R-Q. Is that right, or is that a G? Yeah. No, it's a Q. Q. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. All right, um, and we'll get together. Okay, let's go back to Biblical Voter. And, by the way, when you go into the Salt and Light website, the page I just clicked on, that's the first page you'll see. So you can click into any of our initiatives from there, as well as the Salt and Light Council. And let's go to our registration kit. So, Michael, say you want to have voter registration, a, a drive, you know, even in front yeah. of Walmart or something. I don't know. Uh, here we have this wonderful kit, and it comes with the banner, the tablecloth, the signage, and it's $149, and it includes a 30-minute training on how to conduct a biblical voter registration drive. How do you like that? Oh, that's awesome, yeah. Okay, and that's for anybody that's on the call, of course. Uh, This is for you, too. All right. Um, I'm going to go to Tom. Tom has been patiently waiting. Okay, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hi. Hi. Uh, Tom, you have me on two devices again. Okay. Okay. Let's, um, Uh, let me see if if I'll, I'm just going to turn you off on my phone. Okay. Here we go. Can you hear me? Yes, Tom, I hear you. It's loud and clear. Okay, good. Um, first, I, I wanted to say to Michael, another option he could do is just move to South Central Nebraska, and we'll put him to work right away in our church. <laughs> and then also he can help us uh, keep Jeremy in line. <laughs> um, just, just a quick, simple question. The affiliate membership, that's $20 a month, is that per person or per church? Per church, and this is this is really cool. Your church only needs one training manual, and you only need one membership. And your leader okay. is the leader of the ministry. Let me let me just explain this because it's really good. The leader is the leader of the ministry, and uh, say the leader wants to have an alternate, you know, somebody to train as well. That second person or third person or fourth person, each person after you is. $39, not $125, because they don't need the training manual. And like I said, most of the cost is in the manual. So, um, so it's $39, you know, a person. 
And um, this way, if you can't lead it one certain month, you have somebody there who's certified as well because it is a certified training. So same, same training you get, it's just a lot less money, and they don't get the binder. They don't get the membership password. You get that, and if you want to share it with somebody, you can share it with as many people as you want. It's your password. We don't micromanage. Okay. We're giving, again, the tools and resources, and you choose what you need when you need it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Question. Yeah, that was an excellent question. Okay, I don't see any more questions. Does anybody have a question? All right, well, we did really good, Char. It's 4.54. Was and, uh, right, we're, 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 we're right on schedule. I'd like to close us in prayer. Father God, thank you for our most precious gift of salvation bought for us by the sacrifice on the cross of your son, Jesus. You have a plan, Father, for each of us to live a joyful and service-filled life here on earth. Set our hearts on fire to jump into action today by joining Salt and Light, (coughs) building an army of fellow warriors. Help us bring your name and word back to our state of Nebraska and across all of our United States. Father, we need a miracle here. We can't do this without your guidance of the Holy Spirit and the presence of the love that only Jesus can keep dwelling in us. Lead us into the battle of 2020 and bring us to victory in winning souls, souls that are going to dwell with you in eternity. We pray this in the most holy of all names, Jesus Christ. And all God's people say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. everybody. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Good night.